champion. He said he'd have my pool finished by 2022 summer. It's now the end of 2023 and this is what we've got. This is what their pool looks like right now. The family says they are now out roughly $74,000. And people have asked us if we're gonna hire a lawyer or something, but honestly, I just, my big concern is making sure that this doesn't keep happening because it's so frustrating and you lose money and it's just, it really stinks. She says it's been difficult to hear back from trying pools, believing they've been left in the dark. It's unfortunate because I, we know a few other people who also hired him and are in the a very similar situation. We're all out quite a bit of money. This isn't the only pool that looks like this. Over in Harriman, this is all one family has to show for their dream pool. He just is like, we're so close. Like, why are you upset? And we're like, why do we not have a pool yet? Trying Pools owner Rob Riley says he's just running behind because the weather pushed start times on pools back from around February to May. Every time something happens, it pushes us out another week. And he's just like, that's just construction. That's how it goes. I talked with Rob Riley of Try and Pools and he told me he stays in constant communication with his customers and has even been working 14 hours a day to catch up on all the projects. He does understand the frustration though. Reporting in Layton, Jonathan May, ABC4 News. Brian, 